Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise, and today I'm using the uh, Wisdom of the Oracle <laughs> by Colette Baron reed uh, And if you get this deck, I, I have trimmed the cards down to make them smaller. It's a really big deck. Um, so if you, if you get it and it doesn't look like this, you'll know why. Okay, so what is it that we need to know for July 13th? Tuesday, July 13th. What do we most need to know in order to heal our souls and come back home to who we truly are? I love spirals. <laughs> this is an awesome deck. I don't have it memorized yet, though. I, I sometimes just wing it with the meanings. I'll pop out the book if need be, though, if I draw something that's not clear to me. cool thing about all these oracles is that the good ones are coming from being in alignment with spiritual law. So once you understand how spiritual law works, they're all pretty easy to read. Okay, so for Tuesday, July 13th. Okay. No place like home, but it's reversed. Poised, reversed. They're all reversed. Okay. So I'll bring the image up right just so you can see it. Interesting. Okay. So on one level, I see someone on a pedestal. On another level, I see someone who's like ready to just jump off and fly free. But because it came through reversed, this might have to do with... Um, just not being ready yet. Not being ready to fly free. Now, if anybody's putting you on a pedestal or you're putting anyone else on a pedestal, then the message is coming through, clearly, at least to me, to not do that. We're all equal. We're all, we're all of the same divine essence in, inside of every cell in our bodies and deep down within. We're just, we're just here, you know, emanating a little bit differently, which is very unique. I love that about, about us. We're all unique. Um, so if you're not ready to fly free, that's okay. Just look at, you know, just examine. Use this, use this time to go within and examine whatever it is that um, is holding you back. And examine it thoroughly. You know, find the false beliefs in staying small. Find the false beliefs in maybe for some, for some it might be a false belief that your parents instilled in you that you have to, you know, you have to be at the top. You have to be better than everyone else. Uh, no, <laughs> that's not the way it works. But... If that's how you grew up, you know, then you'll always be fighting against um, a falsehood. And once once you know that, it's easy to let go. So, and I, I say that especially because this is coming through with this There's No Place Like Home card. So, like I was saying yesterday, it's always an inside job. All right, I've said many times, it's always an inside job. All the work is an inside job. But all, all the work that we do brings us back home to who we truly are. So, because it came through reversed, I think that we won't find our way back home to who we truly are until we stop comparing ourselves with other people and comparing ourselves with the situations that other people are in that might seem like it's better than yours um, and and just 
go within, fly free within rather than without until until you get to that place where you have come back home to yourself. And then from that place, the truth will be told. You'll be free. Notice the owl, the, the wise owl that is not in this box anymore and is not uh, coming from any type of a mask. So this, to me, coming through reversed, that definitely brings in the lies that we are told growing up about. And, you know, our parents did it just because they don't want to be afraid of us not having what we need. They instill fear in us. You know, I once had an aunt said to me, you better be careful with your money because you won't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. I just looked at her, wow, that's a really that was a really interesting way to look at life, you know. Um and it just came out of nowhere. So I, I knew in the moment she was projecting her untruth onto me. And I also knew that I I knew how she grew up, uh, because I and I knew my grandmother, which was her mother, right? And I, I knew I, I just I, I knew I knew the whole spin. So I just thought, oh, that's not my reality. Um, but, but, you know, it's okay. It, it, it was, it was okay in the moment. Anyway, back to, back to these three cards together. Just, it feels to me like the major lesson here or the major message that's trying to come through is that we do fly free when we're ready and when we don't need to put ourselves above anyone else or put anyone else above us. I think that's the real message. Yeah, I just felt my being sink even deeper into my body. This is about not putting anybody above you. This is about getting your own guidance from within, and then you're free. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't be beautiful mirrors for each other, because that's, you know, we're all interdependent upon each other. And, you know, it can be that way with your friends. You know how that goes. Sometimes your friends just need a little inspiration, and then sometimes you need inspiration. And so it's beautiful when we reach out to each other. And that's, that is how we find our way home, is to continue to remember that everything that we will ever need in order to create whatever it is in, you know, in our outer world is already inside of us. We already have everything we will ever need inside of us through our creativity and through our love through our wisdom that will come through when we open the doors, open the windows, and let go of any mask, let go of any um, limited perspectives, and allow, you know, sometimes it's just about saying, hey, I'm not feeling good right now about myself, and I need, I need to know what's the truth. Well, the truth is that I can tell you is that anytime you're not feeling happy, uh, about yourself, no matter what's going on around you, then you know that you're not in truth. If you're not feeling happy with yourself, even though the world might be on fire around you, you're not in truth. And if you're not in truth, that comes from false beliefs and life experiences that you have very good reason to have those false beliefs for, life experiences in the past where you were, you know, you had to endure great unhappiness. I mean, just imagine. All we need to do is look to old period pieces, you know, movies uh, of the way things were. You know, we lived through famine. We lived through plague. We lived through dictators. We lived through Nazi Germany you know, atrocities that should have never happened. Uh, but they but they did because we were we were learning 
We were learning most of all with Nazi Germany, we were learning how to not be apathetic and to stand up. You know, if everyone had, well, there's just as much, what I want to say about that is there's just as much guilt on the people that allowed it to happen because they thought it wasn't them. Oh, it's not me. I'm not Jewish, so it doesn't matter. There's that. There's just as much guilt on their souls as there as there is on Hitler's. Because it, he could not have come into power and done what he, you know, had done what he did uh, had had people not allowed him. And we're, you know, we're going through the same thing with Trump. We've at, at least, you know, he's out. Finally, he's out. But um, we're learning to see people who still have the mask on, who are still not in truth, who are, you know, following a cult leader, and, and they're not going anywhere in the right direction, and they're not going to be coming back home to who they truly are until they turn things around in their lives and find the truth. But just because we're witnessing that, does not mean that it has to be affecting our lives other than the best we can do is pray for them, just send them lots of love to find their truth and to get unhooked from the craziness of other people that want to control just for money. And then, you know, then we can all fly free and come back home to who we truly are. But truth be told, you know, the earthly plane here is for working out our dualistic false beliefs and our vicious circles. So just uh, you can hold, hold that dearly in your heart, softly in your heart as you move through life. And don't worry about things that are so terrible out there happening to you just because now we're all connected with social media and um, the internet. We know what's happening all over the world. But just because war is going on somewhere else doesn't mean that it has to happen in your life unless you're working through some belief in war, some, you know, warring type of mentality that you have inside. It doesn't matter whatever it is. The job is always to find it inside. We can't fly free until we figure out what the issue is inside. Like if we're afraid of terrorists, we have to get in touch with our inner terrorist and and heal that aspect of ourselves. It's not who we truly are. It's just a mistake in whatever it is inside. It's just whether it's you know terrorism, fear, hatred, whatever. It's not who we are truly, but it's it's an overlay that needs to uh, be healed. But when we come into that truth, whatever our truth is, it needs to be told then we can fly free, and then we can come home to who we truly are, little by little. <laughs> so, okay, well, that's all I have for today. Thanks, you guys. Take good care. Bye.